now that we got the program installed, let's launch it so we can configure the backup to use SkyDrive. So I'm searching for SQL backup on FTP. I'm going to click on it, launch it here. And then as you see, it's already picked up the databases I had on my computer. I had one for Twitter examples and also one for AdventureWorks. Uh, before we go in and actually select which databases to back up, let's select our backup destination. Again, we're going to show SkyDrive. So I'm going to come down here, click on SkyDrive. And now I need to authorize the program to be able to uh, access the SkyDrive area. This launches my browser and has me sign into Microsoft. So here I'm going to type in my, my Microsoft Live ID. And then I get a, a master code, which I'm going to copy. And then I'm going to paste this master code into the dialog box for the authorization and hit OK. And now I'm authorized. If I'd like to, if I'd want, I could um, select a path to where to save the databases. For now, I'm just going to save them in the root on SkyDrive. One thing I want to do is just test to make sure that everything's working. So let me hit test. See, the test is running. It should come back and say that uh, it was successful, which is good. Uh, it's, one thing um, you want to um, note is that um, the auto delete is set for six months. You may want to uh, make that shorter depending on your policy. And also, it limits the um, upload to 100 megabytes, which uh, will take adventure work. So, this is really good for some of your smaller databases. So, I hit save and close. I'm now going to select. AdventureWorks as my database to back up and then just to show you quickly how this works I'm going to hit run now all right the job finished you can see it took about I'd say a minute and a half to back up the database compress it and then send it up to SkyDrive over my Comcast internet connection